So, welcome back to another Star Wars Fast Forward with uh, the non-pro crew. The non-pro couple? Can we be the non-pro couple? Sure, I feel like that makes it seem like we're like the only non-pro couple, which I feel like is rude. Ah, I'm fine with it. We're finally on to the good movies. The better movies? I mean, the Revenge of the, the Sith wasn't terrible. That's a terrible review. Revenge of the Sith was pretty good. I think it was enjoyable, even. Pretty good. But now we're on to the famous three, originally titled Star Wars, renamed Star Wars A New Hope after George Lucas decided that he would continue to make lots of money off of these movies and that he had a plan all along. And we're thankful for that, to a point. To a point. To a point. Um... Now, uh, as I mentioned before, we are watching the special edition versions, the most updated special edition versions that George has put together. So anything that we think is new or interesting, we might point out. Anyway, I think we are ready to start A New Hope. It's a lot less wordy. Really? I... The scroll is definitely... Less. Or is that just because it's not widescreen? <laughs> I don't know what. No, it should be widescreen in this. It's definitely not. Not as much babble. What font is this? Just curious. Font. Star Wars font. <laughs> George Lucas updates it again. It's all Comic Sans. <laughs> The models still look fantastic. And I also love that we go right to the ship from Revenge of the Sith where we saw them using the this type ship, of ship. Yeah. So we get R2-D2 back, C-3PO. That other robot behind him, obviously C-4PO, <laughs> probably dies. R4! R4! Don't make fun of me. Who designed these stupid helmets? Katie, those helmets don't look incredibly protective to you? No, do they go down over their face? Like. I, I assume they've got to have some sort of visor. No, that is, that's out. definitely a visor thing there. But no one's wearing the visor. Like, they're being shot at. That was ridiculous. Just the right amount of Star Wars ridiculous. It is. The droids literally walk in front of a thousand shots being fired of them. Not getting hit once. Now, if you were watching this for the first time in the correct order, you're already like... Oh god, that Darth Vader is still cray cray. What? Oh, they kept him with that voice. <laughs> That's what you'd be saying. <laughs> now, is Tatooine here a soundstage? No, it's all the desert. They filmed it. They did. Because that's a painting behind them. But that's outside. No, I think that's the actual sky. So just the escape pod behind them looks flat. The escape pod might be fake, but the escape pod could be painted in. Painted in. Why wouldn't R2 just fly? Because he can't fly, Katie. I saw it already. That must have malfunctioned years ago. Oh, okay. I mean, it's been, what, 18, 20 years? The lack of CG is refreshing. Right? Everything about this feels so real. Looks so beautiful. You know, like it... It doesn't look fake. You know, I, I think... Revenge of the Sith doesn't look bad.
creepy bug alien <laughs> droid. See now, I don't know what changed. Like, I hated the addition of random wacky things so we can see different life forms. But this scene in the garbage collection, it's I, it's endearing all the different robots, even trash can robots. Something is just. But this wasn't added. This was all originally shot. I shocked. know. All those are practical robots. What you don't like about the additional scenes is how different it looks from the original film. No, That's... I mean even in the prequels, it's like let's stick in this weird and wacky new character to walk by the screen for no okay. reason. Okay. There is a difference between Obi Wan Kenobi going to the fifties diner and seeing <laughs> and seeing trash can robots. And seeing trash can robots. Trash, trash can robots. Um, more useful. More useful. <laughs> then, uh, See this though. This is added. The spaceship flying away. Him riding the thing. This is all added stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna say the CGI is almost better than it is uh, in the prequels. In the prequels, even though it doesn't make any sense. It's sparse. It's certainly less. This makes more sense, though, because we know how many stormtroopers there are. Why would they have only sent two dudes to look in through an entire desert? When C-3PO asks if they're going to melt them down, I feel like R2 does a double take like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I like this right away we know what we are, because it's a very... My only problem with continuity, oh, I'm sure there's a lot of problems. C-3PO lived with them. Supposedly they even finished building him there. But we've seen that protocol droids all look the same. Oh, you're right. Even in the opening scene we saw even another Another droid. protocol droid. She's a that protocol drives a little less gold, but... <sighs> Whiny Luke Skywalker. Look, I'm not going to say Hayden Christian's whine was intentional, but... <laughs> he's saying he's whiny just like his dad? He's a little whiny like his dad. But, you know, his dad's whine goes away as we follow through the movie and things. Like, it becomes endearing. Because here, he's a kid. He doesn't have any responsibilities or anything, you know what I mean? Like, but as we go through the movie, he... C-3PO is so totally willing... Heroes call, Wait, you know? C-3PO is totally willing to just now, ditch R2-D2. R2, you have a bad motivator, look! I wish Hayden Christensen had been this likable, though. Or endearing at some point before right. he became evil. Oh my goodness. Obi-Wan Kenobi? He might be old Ben Kenobi? Best code name ever. Um, Peru is just judging Uncle Owen through this entire conversation. Those eyes are like, how can you do this to the boy? They've had him since he was an infant. They love him. Yeah, I don't even know how Aunt Peru says that nicely. Oh, he's too much of his father and I'm <laughs> No, that's terrifying. That <laughs> is. <laughs> they know think about though, they probably know Anakin most from the stories that um his mother told. Oh, I guess Not even cute. from the time that he showed up. Cute little adventure pod racing. Yeah. Movie. So. Which is very much like him. Yeah. And remember when he showed up, he. John Williams, why are you so good? Why? Remember when he showed up, he didn't necessarily do anything crazy. The only crazy we got from him was with. Uh, was revealed to Padme. Oh. Not to the rest of his family. They don't know that he slaughtered a bunch of women and children. I and just people. assumed he told them, but maybe no, not. He, he probably didn't. I, I guess maybe they might advised. think he's kind of...
kind of like a hero. He brought back the body of... Yeah, he's a Jedi. Hero who died in the Rebellion. And I'm sure Obi-Wan didn't actually tell them that he became Lord Vader. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Obi-Wan probably left that part out for Uncle Owen and Aunt Burrow. Well, you know the stories, right? So, George Lucas was forced to finish Star Wars in a month. He wanted months and months more, and they were like, we've given you too much money and time on this. Stupid sci fi ridiculous movie. movie. You have to finish it. They cut the movie together. Literally every piece of footage that was usable at the time is in this movie. There is nothing extra. In fact, soon we're going to see one of the famous loop footage scenes. So, did they clean up under the, the speeder? They did, yeah. Because originally... It was the oil. Yeah, va Vaseline. Vaseline. To hide the wheels. I have to say, seeing the prequels first, you're like 75% more jazz to see Obi-Wan. Like, you are more jazz to see Obi-Wan, but I still think it's probably better to watch at least uh, these two movies. A New Hope and Jedi of yeah. uh, Revenge of the Sith before because this. So. Do they do it? Yeah. Right there. Oh my god, I never noticed that. It is like, like a gif of just the sand person doing this ten times. <laughs> and they made that a scene. Yep. It's the same thing, scene they used literally a second before, too, but yeah. they only, shot, only showed it for a second. Yeah, there's no... I'm happy he didn't change that, like he didn't try to reshoot it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't go that crazy. A lot of the extra stuff is stuff that was shot. <laughs> Did we ever explain how Obi-Wan makes this insane noise? That rock is added, though. Why? Did you know that one of those rocks is fake? That they added one of those rocks? Why? I don't know. No, R2 sad that C-3PO wants to die. That's <laughs> my favorite, favorite fade in this whole thing is when they fade up C-3PO's body. Because, um, what's his name's probably only wearing the costume at that point for the waist. Yeah, exactly. So they didn't have to make a, uh, a, a prop for half of C-3PO. They just used the fade to help them edit. No! <laughs> oh, he really faces it towards Obi-Wan. It's like, who's the arm button? When he asks him how his father dies, his... Just, I can only think of him yelling at the burning carcass. <laughs> He's such a millennial. I hate the Empire. There's nothing I can do about it. Let me tweet angrily about it. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion has not helped you conjure up the stolen data tapes. To that 30 year old religion. Yeah, that another continuity problem that the prequels create. Accurate, precise words used to describe stormtroopers. <laughs> you were saying the other day, you didn't realize those were charred bodies until you were much older. Yeah, I guess I just saw like smoke and stuff, but it's very clearly charred bodies. To be fair, I also didn't. But yeah, very cool they got charged And added rats. CG speeder. I don't mind the rats. CG background. I mind this stupid robot hitting that little robot. Rats, cool. We just learned it was a gross place. Why robot comics? Why? <laughs> Falling Jawas. Oh my god, it's, it's like prequel.
people in the movie. <laughs> it's a real movie. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited to meet Han Solo. <laughs> Who doesn't love some Star Wars cantina music? I like that one guy's in just like a NASA outfit. In the expanded universe, he had a whole backstory. It's not real anymore. I know. What about the devil? They're just all old props from other movies. We don't serve their kind here. What? Your droids. They'll have to wait outside. We don't want them here. The undeveloped droid racism of Tatooine. I'm sad we don't go. It's awesome, though. That sort of thing is what makes these movies so cool. Is they give you all these hints of this, like, you just, I just noticed Chewie at the bar. Um, Obi-Wan just spoke to him before. This is the whole theme. Really? Yeah. Obi-Wan's talking to Chewbacca. He arranges Han Solo's You're pilot right. before he even talks to Han Solo. You're right. I don't like Luke's either. kind of rude. Like, he wants something from the bar, he leans over the bar and tugs on the bartender's shirt. If you did that in a real bar, you'd get kicked out. And that other guy spoke another language to him, and he didn't say, Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak that language. He just turns around and ignores him. Even though I know future scripts have not been realized yet, I like... Luke seeing his first real violence is somebody's arm getting cut off. Star Wars is the whole thing for the arms, because C-3PO's arm came disconnected in the uh, Sand People yeah. encounter. We still have a thing with arms being cut off. Coulson in S.H.I.E.L.D. Walking Dead. Yep. All famous heroes have to lose their arms. When they're talking to Han Solo, Obi-Wan does kind of make a face like, this guy's full of bullshit. <laughs> so it still obviously makes sense that Han would shoot and Greedo wouldn't. Han wants to preempt the fact that Greedo's going to kill him. It doesn't even make him that much more of a scoundrel. Although he is a scoundrel, and that's the point. Yeah, but Greedo even... Greedo obviously has intent to kill him. Even the change in the scene doesn't make any sense. Han was still ready to shoot. Yeah! Han knew it was going to come down to shooting. He just wanted to shoot first. But at least... What do you mean? They edit that shot quicker. So People it doesn't like, look like Han's head has become Kit, disconnected from his neck? Kids today never knew the glories of the first recut Star Wars, where Han's head literally moves off his shoulders to avoid the bullet. It's beautiful. And by that, you mean terrible? <laughs> Absolutely terrible. <laughs> All right. So, here's another one of those added scenes. Um, does this count as added? It, <laughs> it does because it could have never happened, right? So, this scene without modern technology wouldn't make sense. And Java was never fully realized as a creature. They shot this scene with a stand in. Um, well, they didn't know even what he was going to look like at the time. Yeah. And when they were developing the suit for Java, they realized the guy could never wear it because there wasn't. So they kind of just abandoned it altogether. So Han walks around him, and they have to edit it so that he's going over his tail. But like, obviously Han wouldn't step on Java's tail. Right here. Right here. <laughs> it looks. It looks really dumb because they even have to make. They have to. Cut out Han Solo, make him move yeah, up. Yeah, they have to rotoscope Han out and move him because it was just a person. 
job. Princess Leia is sassy. She's the sassy, and her the order to your life. her relationship, How obviously, with the higher ups in the Empire is fascinating, despite the fact that we don't get to go into it, right? She obviously she knows Tarkin. She's had run-ins with Vader before. These uh, chess figures were the inspiration to the Skylander figure. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how full of shit Han is. Ugh. This sucks being stuck here. I'm not going out there. <laughs> His one job was to watch the droids, and he leaves them alone. He does. <laughs> Thanks for opening the door. I'll take it from here. Yeah. <laughs> They're already an adorable ragtag group of people. What? I just remember the first time I saw this scene, like how, like, scared I was for them. I was when this thing grabs him. I was terrified. And whoever did the sound effects for the scene, I mean, absolutely disgusting, the water goop noise. Oh. And it's not like the water doesn't even seem that deep, right? Like, no. Han and Leia are just standing there, but He just Luke's, disappears. Luke's now, like, in, like, a lake. Like, they can't even find him. Where did he go? I gotta learn more about... Trash compactor physics. I am shocked here, because up to this point, Archie D2 has been the one being like coy and everything, and there C3PO just like masters the improv. Just turns it on. He's just like, well, I don't want to die, so yeah. I gotta get with the program. <laughs> <laughs> So, Katie, a new hope. 
great movie. Yeah, it doesn't even seem, I really didn't realize this movie was two hours long, because it seems like a short, fun story. It just goes so fast, everything. The pacing is. The pacing is excellent, everything works, you know, and it, it's weird because it's a group of characters, like, they don't know each other for that long, but it's, like, believable that they've become friends. Oh, yeah. You know? And I'm sure that's in no small part to the fact that Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, and Harrison Ford really became good friends while doing this movie, but they're... They all seem so close and so well... Yay, R2's okay. ...attuned with one another. The, the story flows so great, and the mysteries are what keep you into it. Not knowing everything, not having it over-explained like in the prequels. I... Agree with everyone's complaint here, though, that Chewbacca does not get an award. He doesn't. It's... He legitimately helps fly that ship, and he's not a droid. He is a a being. Chewbacca, though, is a what a great an little alien, story. It's though. over, right? Yeah. That's the end of the Star Wars story. No, there are actually two films that are also very good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Who gets second billing under them, or does it just go to a... Peter Cushing. So, I'm really excited to watch Empire. Yeah, me too. The pinnacle of Star Wars. The best of Star Wars, as people say. I guess we're going to find out. Thank you for joining us again.